Hello, this is Kevin with Bangard Inc. And today we're looking at the Sage Estimating Release Enhancements for version 23. This session we're going to take a look at the open estimate that's been changed to be more of an estimate catalog. What's that mean? Let's take a look at the old version for a moment. So on the old version, when you clicked on File, you saw New estimate, open estimate, duplicate estimate, you know, some of those type of things, manage, emerge. So we used to go to open estimate whenever we went to open a, up an existing estimate. And it used to open up a screen that would look like this, where you could go off and, you know, search through and find all your estimates or look at the last recent estimates. And you could go off and pick one and it would open that estimate up. And if you want to open up another estimate, same type of thing. You'd go back up to the file and open estimate and go find another file. That's changed now. If I take a look under File, I'll notice I can still create a new estimate. I don't have an option to open an estimate. I can make a copy of an estimate. I could close an estimate. Estimate Catalog is similar to Open Estimate. So that is one method that you can use to open an estimate. And then Manage Estimate is just like Manage Estimate here that you could also use it to open an estimate. But what I kind of envision clients using probably more than come in here to open an estimate is there's also a new button on the toolbar that basically stands for an estimate catalog. If I open this box up, there's the same look as what this was basically, where I can see all my different branches and all my different estimates and I can still come up here and do a search so I can look for, maybe I got a QT out there. Oops, I thought I did. Oh, I've maybe spelled them out, it looks like. So maybe if I put in, you know, QU for quick, and I can start to see all the estimates that have, you know, something with that abbreviation in it. So all that acts just like it did before. But one of the real neat things about it is, as I look at this list, because it's a separate box, I could keep this on a separate monitor if I wanted to. But I can also sit there and open up multiple estimates. So instead of going to file, going to open estimate, picking something, go to file, open estimate, pick something else. If somebody had like multiple estimates, like I've got a base bid and multiple alternates that I want to have open because I don't do them in the same estimate. I do them in separate estimates for some reason. You know, I could come in here and say, I want to open up that estimate. I want to open up that estimate there. Maybe I want to come down to another branch and open up, you know, one of these estimates here. This one's got a, a WBS code that's not in my database anymore, so I can sit okay and it'll open up. But you can see I can sit there and open up estimates a lot faster because I don't have to keep reopening this window. So I could go through there and as fast as I could go through and find the estimates I'm looking for. You know, maybe if I had some sort of a school or whatever the case is, I could just keep on picking, you know, multiple things and just keep on opening those estimates up. So uh, kind of a nice little change. It also allows me to, a lot of time, an estimate that I've got open, I might want to open up another estimate that's in that same branch or in that same locale. As I look, as I click on different estimates, like in this case here, that estimate is somewhere way down below. I'm at the top of my list, kind of where my bid metrics estimates were here and so forth. This little button here is a new button that basically lets me sync it with the active estimate. And all that basically means is it'll look at what estimate I've got highlighted at the moment, which is this one, and it'll move my cursor down there to find it. So that way, if there was another estimate in that same vicinity that I wanted to open, I could basically double click on it and open it up and so forth. So it's just a way that if I wanted to go off to, okay, I want to open up another estimate that's in this vicinity, I could basically just hit this button. And it'll take me back to that same vicinity without maybe having to scroll a mile up or a mile down on the list in order to find it. So, real neat change that they've done there and so forth. And let's close up a few of these estimates. One of the other things that they've done, which is probably one of the most common things that clients have requested was, when you were in Open Estimate and you had all these branches open, When I was in Manage Estimates, I could collapse all these folders. But if I was in Open Estimate, for some reason, I couldn't close all these branches in one shot. I would have to come in here and 
and, uh, you know, maybe close this branch up and then go ahead and close this branch up and, and things of that nature. So one of the other nice things that they've done with this estimate catalog screen or the new open estimate screen here is they've added a little claps button now so I could clap them all in one click. And that way I could do my drill down. So if it was something about, you know, the hierarchy of how I store my estimates and things of that nature, I could go off and have some sort of uh, drill down method to get there without having to sit there and try to collapse all the folders. So real nice that I could now sit there and either expand them all or collapse them all and, and things of that nature. I could also come back to maybe I'm looking through this list of all these different things down in this vicinity. I could go through and actually right hand click on this and it says collapse all, but it just collapses that branch in deeper. So that way I could still kind of say somewhat close by which is kind of nice there again also, because sometimes maybe I've got these open and I don't want to just flat out, you know, close them all. So that's the nice thing about up here is this could go through there and just say, yep, collapse every single one. So instead of like in the old version where I had to right click on the heading and then right click on the uh, collapse, you know, I could just hit one button and that'll collapse it. And where in open estimate, I couldn't collapse them at all. So very nice feature there. So this just kind of gets me back into sync with where that estimate was at. So if I wanted to kind of focus on Hey, I think I've got another estimate out there in the same vicinity, a lot faster finding it. And this case basically lets me go through and do the open and close. And then a lot of these other buttons were similar with what, you know, you've had before, copying estimates and some of those type of things and um, generating reports to the, for reporting database and so forth and exporting a report or importing reports, some of those type of things, deleting a report or deleting an estimate and so forth. You could right click and rename, which you couldn't do with the open estimate before. So they've given it a real just nice kind of facelift for that. Now, this is also a box that can be docked. So right now I've got it outside the application, but if I moved it back over to maybe to this left hand side or something of that nature, I could have this thing docked over here for some reason. So as I go through there and open up different estimates, I could still have that estimate list open. So if I'm for some reason, doing a lot of jumping around and yeah, I'm looking at this and doing something and going back to the other estimate to do something else. And, you know, oh yeah, let's go ahead and open up some other estimate. You know, it's just a matter of just keeping that window somewhere close by or, you know, keeping it on another monitor even. And then this button then would also kind of turn it on and off when you want to see it and not see it. So just a real nice thing. So there again, instead of going up to file and clicking open estimate, then getting the dialog box and so forth, just a real nice, clean look and feel to it. That concludes this session. Thanks for watching.